I'm Johannes Swim and this is a second tutorial for Fighters Rider 3.7. In the first tutorial we looked at document templates and how can one can edit those. And in this tutorial we'll be looking at export templates. Export templates are used for exporting to ODT and DOCX files. For other formats it's we not really used it's not really useful to have uh, these template files so that's the only thing we have them here for. Uh, the first thing one needs to do is one needs to create a document template. So if you haven't looked at the first tutorial, you may want to do that. Otherwise, you can click on the one that you have here and then click on duplicate. And that way you'll, you'll get a second one. I'll use the one that I have from the first tutorial, the multilingual article which we created. So enter that one. And then I scroll all the way down to the export templates. So by default there are two, classic and free. Classic is the docx uh, template and free is the one for uh, ODT. So if I click on it, it can tell me which tags it found. And in this case it found all the various sections I have minus the abstract DE. And that's not strange because the abstract D is something I added, whereas the others were all there by default. It also tells me the file type. In this case, it's an ODT file. And so now we want to replace this with another file. So first we take the file that exists already, and we click on it, and it should download it. So I save it, and I open it, and and so here we can see it has all the sections minus the one with the abstract D. We want the abstract D to show up right after the abstract so we'll insert it there but first let's look a bit at what the general uh, syntax is here. So you can see the brackets before and after and ID from the template so there's a title, subtitle, authors, abstract, keywords, body and bibliography. Bibliography is something it added. So bibliography is something that is used if there is a bibliography. So that's actually not a uh, section from the document template. Among these others there's a distinction between those that have an ad in front of them and those that don't. The ones with the ad, that signifies that um, that signifies that the if we zoom in a bit, uh, that it's a rich text section and that it will be placed at rich text or table. It's It may require more than one paragraph, so it replaces this entire paragraph with an abstract. Or if there's no abstract, it will just remove that paragraph altogether. Same with body and bibliography. With for title, subtitle and authors, it does not, uh, it does not do that, it just inserts a, put a title in line. Same for subtitle and authors. These are not just randomly chosen, but they are automatically connected with the type of uh, the section. So, rich text and table have need the uh, symbol. The others don't have it. Then there is the there are two that are not that are not being used at all, and that's the table of contents because you can just add a table of contents in your ODT or your docx file and this the break because you can just insert page breaks as you want to. Okay, so let's try to add one that has a uh, as the abstract D and you could see so if I copy this from the keywords and I want to do that twice. So I call one abstract. That's just to get around the so there you are. Um I just used the keyboard one because it actually looked like it was um 
like it was creating these auto links and that's not what we intended to do okay now the name of the export template is derived from the file name in this case it's like a really weird long name so we want to save this as um, so as something that can be recognized so in this case it's called free multilingual okay okay so now here I select the new one we created Okay. Now we can see the no text missed, it found all the text. So that's great. I just save it, close it here. I can go back to a document where we actually use that template. And the file that is being downloaded. an ODT file. If we open it, we can see the contents just as we expected it to be.